here we are at Philip McCallum's down in Lisburn. There's the shop behind me, and the sun's in my face now. So, my 1200, we're changing it today to this big beast here, <laughs> while Joe struggles with the doors. <laughs> I'm taking this out, so it's all uh, prepped and ready for me. So I'm gonna get a coffee, and then we'll go for a wee ride on it. See you soon.
Um, after her final thoughts on uh, my ride yesterday out with um, the Rocket 3, um, absolutely loved it. It was fun. Um, once I got on it, uh, it didn't feel as heavy as it looked, but um, I thought the seat was a bit narrower than what I was used to, so it was very easy to um, get on the bike, um, hold the bike up. Uh, the weight didn't feel like it was going to fall over. It was fairly well balanced, um, very positive. Um, obviously, I'm used to having a screen in front of me, no screen and having um, so much power uh, on that bike you literally are gripping forward uh, but it it was good um, the thoughts on my complete thoughts on uh, the ride were uh, very good it was a very pleasant afternoon um, when I picked it up at the dealers um, Philip McCallum's in Lisburn um, took it out for a, a quick run myself and one of my friends and it was only when I was getting familiar with it and was all, you, you knew that from the growl of the bike that obviously there was a lot of power as well you, you could just from the th flick of the wrist you were gone in seconds in fact <laughs> if <laughs> if you're willing to really open it up and <laughs> go um, you will be pleasantly surprised all I can say is make sure you are holding on tight um, not the 60 will according to the figures I've had to print out some stuff here so I have it sitting here in front of me not the 60 is in about 2.73 seconds now I, um, I did try a few different things uh, while I was out on the bike um, and I was sitting at 60 at one point and open clear road in front of me, opened the throttle and I was so surprised to where I ended up. Uh, obviously I can't say, uh, but in a flick of a wrist I was well beyond uh, the speed limit, um, so a quick drop down. Um, it, it is impressive. Um, uh, at first I'm going from a bike with a, a quick shifter and uh, I realised that there's no quick shifter on this here so I had to use the clutch dear me but uh, grand, all the instruments uh, everything was laid out just like triumph uh, so getting off one triumph and onto another was was grand it was I didn't have any problem uh, finding any of the buttons they were all familiar to me um, so that that was second nature the foot pegs were great um, your your seated position uh, you are seated uh, i suppose i can call it like uh, it's aggressive or like a monkey position so it's uh, i was fairly aggressive sitting forward but you're on a, a, a very mean looking bike um, it's very impressive even walking around it and looking at it um, I was so impressed with it um, now the uh, torque of the bike is 225 newtons at 4000 rpm the exhaust I loved just looking at this here it's a stainless uh, three into one headers uh, with three exit arrow branded silencer and a cat box it's just so impressive to look at it. Um, it keeps bringing me back to the, my old comic hero, <laughs> Judge Dredd, and I suppose the film that if you ever seen Sylvester Stallone in, um, this massive bike that uh, the police, obviously Judge Dredd Stallone is on, he looks very uncomfortable on it. Um, there is no suspension settings on the Rocket 3. It literally is what it is. Um, and you do feel every bump. So if you're on back roads or um, you will uh, feel it. I felt every single bump on the main roads. It was uh, a dream. It just cruised along. I never really got into 6th. There's a 6th speed on it. 
um, but it was all um, very sort of 40s to 50, 60 mile an hour, um, depending on where, uh, where I was, but it was, it was great. Um, the whole afternoon was excellent. Um, as I said, it's a six speed uh, gearbox. The TFT is a multifunctional instrument pack. It has a digital speedo, um, trip, techo. Uh, it shows you your gear position. There's a fuel gauge, service indicator. Shows you the temperature outside. It has your uh, clock and it has your rider modes. Now it's similar to, as I say, other trams. I, I drive a, or I ride a, 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 a Tiger and it has the rain road sport and then you have obviously your own uh, configuration that you can put into it as well. Um, it does say that uh, the Triumph TFT uh, connectivity system can be added with an accessory fitted Bluetooth module. So there's something, obviously this is something that uh, Triumph has been talking about for a long time, but uh, this is obviously something that can be added into this bike as well. Um, now, when you look at the, the front wheel on the bike, it looks very similar to other other bikes. It is a, a 150 or 150 by 80. It's a 17, but the rear tire is 240. Uh, 50 and it's a 16 it is just massive absolutely massive now when i was cornering i felt that it was literally on um a big uh a big tire like a barrel type thing uh, i at first i wasn't very comfortable with it but it didn't cause me any by the end of the day it didn't cause me any problem whatsoever uh, it was grand the seat height uh, I'm five foot eight. I'm a wee shorty. I'm gonna be short and fat and bald, as you can see. Um, and it's seven seven three millimeter. Um, I had no problem flat footing uh, the whole time on it. It was very easy to handle, very easy to ride. Uh, the dry weight is two hundred and ninety kilograms. Um, and the fuel uh, capacity of the, the tank is nineteen liters. I'm not sure what it was doing miles per gallon, but I, I did have any problem whatsoever with it. Now, when you get on it, you will find that the seat is a bit like an oyster shell. Uh, and if you're coming from the scooter community, uh, I suppose a king and queen seat, they used to be, I suppose, called. And it's only when you open up the throttle that you realise that why it's an oyster type shell, if you look at it, the back of the oyster shell would be raised and that's the part we the, the back end of your bottom would sit into it when you open the throttle up you really need that now i don't know how it would feel if somebody was on the back of you um but i would imagine if somebody was on the back they would probably be sitting on the ground <laughs> once you opened up the throttle um but there's just so much torque and so much power um but uh, the seating was perfect uh, for sitting in. Feet on the pegs were very, it's a very relaxed mode. Whether you had um, an extended um, handlebar to make it a wee bit more comfortable rather than sitting forward in, the in an aggressive mode, I, I don't know why it would make it easier. As I said, the suspension, there's no adjustment on the suspension, but on uh, main roads, it was grand and didn't take it on the motorway um but it was it was super for and, and any of the b roads that, that i went on to I, I ended up on a couple of smaller roads and uh, i was being bumped around quite a bit um i did feel it on my shoulders um but it was grand um so hopefully it's given you a little insight to what i thought of the uh the rocket three it is an immense bike um it definitely, <laughs> it, I used to have her, it blew my hair off, what can I say? Um, if you get a chance, either get out and try one or buy one. Make your own mind up, but this is what I thought anyway, so thanks for watching.